Tikrit, sometimes transliterated as Takrit or Tekrit, is a city in Iraq, located 140 km northwest of Baghdad and 220 km southeast of Mosul on the Tigris River. It is the administrative center of the Saladin Governorate. As of 2012 update, it had a population of 160,000. In recent years the city has been the site of conflict cumulating in the Second Battle of Tikrit from March through April 2015, resulting in the displacement of 28,000 civilians. The Iraqi government regained control of the city from the Islamic State on March 31, 2015. History Ancient times as a fort along the Tigris. The city is first mentioned in the fall of Assyria Chronicle as being a refuge for the Babylonian king Nobopolassa during his attack on the city of Ashur in 615 BC. Tikrit is usually identified as the Hellenistic settlement Bertha, Christian Tikrit until the 6th century. Christianity within the Sasanian Empire was predominantly diaphysite under the Church of the East. However, as a result of Myaphysite missionary work, Tikrit became a major Myaphysite center under its first bishop, the Hudema, in 559. Under Maratha, the bishopric was elevated into a Mafrianate and the city's ecclesiastical jurisdiction extended as far as Central Asia. The city however remained predominantly a Syrian Christian in the early centuries of Islamic rule and gained fame as an important center of scholarship of Syriac and Christian Arab literature. Some important names includes its bishop Syriacus who ascended to the Patriarchy of Antioch and theologians Abu Zakaria Dena and Abu Rata and translator Yahya Ibn Adi. From the 9th century Christians began to migrate northwards. The Christian community received a setback when the governor ordered the destruction of the main cathedral known popularly as the Green Church in 1089. The Mafrian had to relocate to Mosul with many Christians. Another governor permitted the reconstruction of the cathedral. However, instability returned and the Mafrian moved indefinitely to Mosul in 1156. The city remained an important Assyrian Christian center until its destruction by Timur in the late 14th century. Christian presence is last recorded in the 17th century. Medieval to Crete the town was also home to the Arab Christian tribe of Iyad. The Arabs of the town secretly assisted the Muslims when they besieged the town. The Muslims entered to Crete in 640. It was from then considered as part of the Jazera province. It was later regarded as belonging to Iraq by Arab geographers. The Arab UK Alid dynasty took hold of to Crete in 1036. Around 1138, Saladin was born there. The modern province of which Tikrit is the capital is named after him. The city was devastated in the 14th century by Timur. During Ottoman period Tikrit existed as a small settlement that belonged to the Rakhariyelet and whose population never exceeded 4,000 minus 5,000. Tikrit Old Town Tikrit Old Town Contemporary to Crete in September 1917, British forces captured the city during a major advance against the Ottoman Empire during World War I. The Tikriti Jewish community was mostly gone by 1948. By the time Saddam Hussein rose to power there were only two Jewish families in the city. The city is the birthplace of Saddam Hussein. Many senior members of the Iraqi government during his rule were drawn from Saddam's own Tikriti tribe, the al Bunazir, as were members of his Iraqi Republican Guard, chiefly because Saddam apparently felt that he was most able to rely on relatives and allies of his family. The Tikriti domination of the Iraqi government became something of an embarrassment to Husseinim in 1977. He abolished the use of surnames in Iraq to conceal the fact that so many of his key supporters bore the same surname, al Tikriti. Saddam Hussein was buried near Tikrit in his hometown of OWJA following his hanging on December 30, 2006. Tikrit C. 2000
Iraq War In the opening weeks of the 2003 U.S.-led invasion, many observers speculated that Saddam would return to Tikrit as his last stronghold. The city was subjected to intense aerial bombardment meant to throw Saddam's elite Republican Guard troops out of the city. On April 13, 2003 several thousand U.S. Marines and other coalition members aboard 300 armored vehicles converged on the town, meeting little or no resistance. With the fall of Tikrit, U.S. Army Major General Stanley McChrystal said, I would anticipate that the major combat operations are over. However, during the subsequent occupation to Crete became the scene of a number of insurgent attacks against the occupation forces. It is commonly regarded as being the northern angle of the Sunni Triangle, within which the insurgency was at its most intense. In June 2003, Abid Hamid Mahmoud Saddam Hussein's presidential secretary and the Ace of Diamonds on the Most Wanted deck of cards was captured in a joint raid by Special Operations Forces and the 1st Battalion, 22nd Infantry Regiment of 1st Brigade, 4th Infantry Division. After the fall of Baghdad, Saddam Hussein was in and around Tikrit. He was hidden by relatives and supporters for about six months. During his final period in hiding, he lived in a small hole just outside the town of Ador, 15 kilometers south of Tikrit on the eastern bank of the Tigris, a few kilometers southeast of his hometown of al Oya. The missions which resulted in the capture of Saddam Hussein were assigned to the 1st Brigade combat teams of the 4th Infantry Division, commanded by Colonel James Hickey of the 4th Infantry Division. The U.S. Army finally captured Saddam and Hussein on December 13, 2003 during Operation Red Dawn. During the 2003 invasion of Iraq, AFN Iraq broadcast news and entertainment within Tikrit, among other locations. On November 22, 2005, HHC 42nd Infantry Division New York Army National Guard handed over control of Saddam Hussein's primary palace complex in Tikrit to the governor of Salah ad-Din province, who represented the Iraqi government. Discontinuing the existence of what once was FOB danger, the palace complex had served as a headquarters for U.S. 4th Infantry Division, U.S. 1st Infantry Division, and 42nd Infantry Division. The palace complex now serves several purposes for the Iraqi police and army, including headquarters and jails. The U.S. military subsequently moved their operations to al Sarah airfield, later known as Cobb Spiker, northwest of Tikrit. Saddam Hussein's primary palace complex contained his own palace, one built for his mother and his sons and also included a man-made lake, all enclosed with a wall and towers. Plans for the palace grounds when originally returned to the Iraqi people included turning it into an exclusive and lush resort. However, within weeks of turning over the palace, it was ravaged, and its contents were stolen and sold on the streets of Tikrit. The 402nd Civil Affairs Detachment of the U.S. Army and the government of Salah Ardin province began plans to improve local economic conditions. One of the many projects they are working on is building an industrial vocational school in the Tikrit area. The school will teach local people skills in different fields of technology, which will help to build and improve Iraq's economic stability. The curriculum will educate men and women in multiple occupational fields such as the production of high-tech products, plastic production technology, masonry, carpentry, petroleum equipment maintenance and repair, farm machinery and automotive repair. This self-supporting educational institution owns a textile mill where many of the graduates will work producing uniforms. The mill is scheduled to begin producing and selling products within the year, with the profits from the mill going to fund the school. The vocational school's operation, support and funding are modeled after a system South Korea used in another part of Iraq. On April 18, 2010, Abu Aywayub al-Masri and Abu Abdullah al-Rashid al-Baghdadi were killed in a raid six miles of Tikrit in a safe house. 
ISIL insurgents The Islamic State of Iraq launched an attack on March 29, 2011 that killed 65 people and wounded over 100. Reuters news agency included the attack in its list of deadliest attacks in 2011. On June 11, 2014, during the northern Iraq offensive, the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant took control of the city. Hours later, the Iraqi army made an attempt to recapture the city, which resulted in heavy fighting. On June 12, ISIL executed at least 1,566 Iraqi Air Force cadets from Camp Spiker at Tikrit. At the time of the attack there were between 4,000 and 11,000 unarmed cadets in the camp. The Iraqi government blamed the massacre on both ISIL and members of the Arab Socialist BAATH party, Iraq region. By July 2014, government forces had withdrawn from Tikrit. On September 25, 2014, Islamist militants destroyed the Assyrian church there that dated back to 700 AD. In March 2015, the Iraqi army along with the Hashabi popular forces launched an operation to retake Tikrit. On March 31, the Iraqi government claimed the city had been recaptured. Geography it is about 160 kilometers north of Baghdad on the Tigris River. Climate Koppen Geiger Climate Classification System classifies its climate as hot desert. Culture and Community The Tikrit Museum was damaged during 2003 Iraq War. The University of Tikrit was established in 1987 and is one of the largest universities in Iraq. Tikrit Stadium is a multi-use facility used mostly for football matches and serves as the home stadium of Salah Abdin FC. It holds 10,000 people. Military facilities. The Iraqi Air Force has had several air bases at Tikrit. The Tikrit South Air Base, the Tikrit East Air Base and Al Sarah Airfield. Transportation. The city of Tikrit has two small airports, Tikrit East Airport and Tikrit South Airport.